Monitor the operation of electrical, electronic and control system. Incinerators. According to Annex 6 of MAPAL 1973 by 78 Convention of IMO for Prevention of Air Pollution from Ships, the guidelines regarding the waste material storage and disposal of waste at sea need to be strictly followed. Incineration of various materials such as galley waste, food scraps, accommodation waste, linen, cardboard, oil sludge from lubricating oil, fuel oil, bilge and purifier, sewage sludge etc is one of the most effective ways of disposal and saving storage capacity of the ship tanks and waste storage containments on ships. Moreover, the residue left from the incineration can be easily disposed of off as it mainly consists of ash. The following materials not to be incinerated. Annex 1, 2 and 3 cargo residues of the present convention and related contaminated packing materials. Polychlorinated biphenyls PCBs. Garbage, as defined in Annex 5 of the present convention, containing more than traces of heavy metals. And refined petroleum products containing halogen compounds. Incineration of sewage sludge and sludge oil generated during the normal operation of a ship may also take place in the main or auxiliary power plant or boilers, but in those cases, shall not take place inside ports, harbors, and estuaries. The temperature of the flue gases must be monitored and should not be less than 850 degrees Celsius for continuous feed and reach 600 degrees Celsius within 5 minutes. Time may vary depending upon the capacity of incinerator for a batch feed. Types of marine incinerators. Horizontal burner type. Vertical cyclone type. The important parts of the incinerator are. Combustion chamber with diesel oil burner, sludge burner, pilot fuel heater and electric control panel. Flue gas fan which may be fitted with flue gas damper or frequency inverter. Sludge service tank with a circulating pump and heater. Sludge settling tank with filling pump and heater. Optional. Primary blower is used for sending combustion air into the incinerator. Diesel oil pump. Working principle of incinerator. The incinerator is designed with the primary combustion chamber for burning sludge oil or solid waste and a secondary combustion chamber for burning out and uncombusted exhaust gases. The primary combustion chamber is equipped with a primary burner. Diesel oil is supplied to this burner for initial ignition. After this, the sludge oil is supplied to the main burner until it ignites. The primary burner is then switched off, either automatically or manually. Atomizing air is provided to the sludge burner for efficient combustion. A pressure regulating valve is provided on the sludge return line to adjust the quantity of sludge entering the conversion space. The heat from the primary burner will dry out and start burning the solid waste and or ignite the sludge oil. The very large transmission area in the primary combustion chamber optimizes the drying and burning of the solid waste. In the secondary combustion chamber, the gases from the primary combustion chamber will burn out. A wall made of ceramic heavy-duty refractory lining separates the primary and the secondary combustion chamber. In the case of solid garbage or waste, the waste is fed into the incinerator through the feeding door. Note that the primary burner cannot be ignited, if this door is open, the rest of the combustion process is the same. 